Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 32 of Let's FIFA 13. And we start this episode off by going into the Spring Classic Tournament. There's 5,000 coins to get, and a premium gold pack as well, so not too bad stuff to win there. So we go into the round of 16, we get our first chance in the 10th minute. We find Evra here with a few flicks back and forth before we get a shot in on goal, but it is saved by the keeper. 26 minute, it's Kelvin on the ball. He makes his way into the box here with quite a few few skill moves and in the end I will get a shot in the but it is blocked. It goes out for a corner and straight from that we'll head it in to make it 1-0. 33rd minute we pick up a free kick, he puts a player on the line. I thought of chipping it over the wall but I decided to quickly change to Rodriguez and try for the shot and I curl it around the wall over the defender there and I make it 2-0 and we're not done there. Kelvin on the ball, he finds Lam here who made a run up, uh, up on the right wing. We quite lucky get onto the ball. We flick it backwards with a Birkin flick, get a bit of space, and Quintel there will make it a 3 0. And we continue on into the second half. A dummy here to get through on goal. We try to take out the keeper there, and we end up picking up a penalty number 34. And Rodriguez will convert that to make it a 4 0. He will get a goal back here in the 75th minute, but it didn't really matter too much. The game ends at 4 to 1, and I move on into the quarterfinals of a. The, I guess the Spring Classic Tournament and uh, we will go with the the squad I used in the Contracts Cup uh, with the, the Informed de Guzman. We come up against a very, very pacey Brazilian side there and it was quite difficult for me to create chances in the first half and he actually picks up a penalty here and he will actually hit the bar. So I get very lucky there and uh, it's still nil, 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 nil. Then in the 20th minute I get a shot in my first proper shot in the half and it's not the best of goals but it makes it 1-0 and then he gets a other penalty not quite sure if it was Pato uh, who got tackled or what actually happened but he will convert that to make it 1-1 and then we go into the second half where I would start to create a whole lot more chances I kind of started to find the way to break him down because he did rush forward quite a lot and he was about being a little bit patient before I took the chances and I make it a 3-1 here with Ben Arthur and uh, we're far from done we get a little bit of passing going here and as you can see he rushed forward with a bunch of defenders I am offside on this one else it had been a pretty nice goal there from me but 78th minute to wrap on the ball there a little drag back we get into the box and quite lucky there to pick up a penalty and we will step up for that with Ben Arthur who will convert it to make it a 4-1 and then straight from the kickoff I will actually manage to and to pick the ball up here and go on a counter attack. We play a 1-2 through on goal with Remy and we go with a little bit of a fake shot. Ball roll, a reverse step over past the keeper and that is a 5-1 and that's how the game ends as well. And I move on into the semi-finals of the tournament, getting a little bit closer to that a trophy money there, trophy coins. So we go uh, with the the substitutions what we built in the start of the series and we come up against a 3-5-2 squad here and this was a really tough game. He was very good at defending and I didn't create that many chances. We get on the ball here with Asa Edi and we get a quite lucky to get it back onto it. We pass it around and we find Terab who goes for a little school turn past one defender, steps inside and he makes it 1-0. And then it's his turn to get on the ball. I um, missed the tackle there. He gets through and I could already see I could not catch up and I tried to cover the pass across goal but could never get to it so he makes it 1-1 and then we go into the second half to wrap on the ball we'll pass it all the way across to McGeady who cuts inside with a scoop turn we take the shot and we get a very lucky to get the goal there with it too and we get another chance of 57th minute to wrap on the ball here out on the wing makes his way into the box going past several defenders here but in the end he gets a nice little slide tackle in to block the shot and then in the 65th minute he will cross it in and he will get a goal a little bit similar to the one I got with it too just a bit of luck there deflection so 2-2 it is and I try to get it back in the lead but as I said he was very good to, at defending and I had a hard time breaking through but then in the 89th minute a dummy to get through he tries to catch up with Terrapt and he takes, takes his keep out but a little ball will drag back to get a bunch of space and the net is completely open to make it 3-2 and that is how the game ends and I move on into the final we continue with the same side after we apply a contract there to Terrapt and I come up against 
4-3-1 uh, to Serie A side there, full uh, full Italian side, and uh, a nice pass there from Terap to find Azaidi for my first chance. We cut inside, but the keeper will save the shot. And then 40th minute, there's a top breaking through here, and uh, I will go with a little bit of a fake shot to cut inside. We take the shot, and we make it 1-0. We get into the lead, and we continue on into the second half, finding Terap here, but we get a little bit too close to the keeper, and the shot ends up being quite a bad. He heads it in off a corner there. I thought my keeper would be able to get it. So 1-1 one, one it is. And I had a little bit of a difficult time creating any chance because he just stood watching me for most of the time with the contain. So it makes it a little bit difficult to get those skill moves going. But I will make it a 2-1. And I'll get another chance here where I pick up a penalty. The third one of this episode. So quite a lot in this episode. We will convert it with a 2 to make it a 3-1. And that is how the final ends. I get 5,000 coins and I can go out and open up that pack which is not too bad we open it up but nothing good in it really um, a squad fitness which we always can list up and make a little bit of profit on but apart from that I did decide to discard most of the players there and then I wanted to go into the gold cup for the final game of this episode because I did reach the final in the last episode so it will be a pretty good game to end it all off with and we come up against a pretty nice side there and those are the kind of opponents I usually tend to be um, a little bit afraid of how good they actually are because they can be extremely good. I make it 1-0 and I get a shot in here uh, to hit the post, unlocking not to get the goal and then he passes it there. I tried to intercept it but I couldn't get onto it and he makes it 1-1 and that was his only shot in the half so I felt I should try and get back into the lead and I get my lock here. He passes it straight to Nani who gets way too much space and he makes it 2-1. I'm back into the lead but then a 59th minute he gets on the ball there. I try to get it twice but he just kept on getting back on to it and he takes the shot here on the edge of the box and Noya couldn't save that one so 2-2 two, two it is 83rd minute I get a shot in but it goes wide and here you see the full time stats he only had those two shots on target so I was a little bit frustrated that I didn't have the lead but he, he, he did a pretty good job at defending and I could never get that third goal despite trying so we actually end up going into penalties Ortega will convert my first shot so not the worst to start he steps up and I will save that one he goes down the middle so uh, I get a very very good start to the shootout and I'll convert my shot there with Quintero as well to give me a 2-0 lead. He will convert his second shot however shooting it down the middle once again. Rodriguez steps up converts it 3-1 it is. He steps up here and I just kept on standing in the middle this time around because I thought he was going to continue doing that and he does indeed do that on his first shot and then I miss my shot and not too good but I will save his shot there because he went down the middle once again. Kelvin steps up he will save it but I can still win the game if he missed this shot Fellaini steps up down the middle once again and I will save it so I win the penalty shootout I win the final there and that will be the end of the episode and uh, I asked yesterday if I should go with the um, with the like a goal of the week and it seemed like a lot of you guys thought it was a cool idea so might have it out tomorrow else will be next week and uh, that's all for this episode guys I hope you did enjoy it and I will talk to you later <laughs>